Searching Australia for the nation's finest craft brewers. Sorting the most creative suds from the everyday duds. So let's get to it on Kegs of Glory. From its historic timber cottages to pubs to the swanky boutiques and apartments along Bay and Beach Streets, Port Melbourne has always been a suburb on the move. If you're heading to Tassie, this is the place to hop on a ferry. And if you're keen to set sail into the exotic flavours of one of Australia's largest craft brewers, Port Melbourne is the place to be. So my name is Lawrence Dowd, I'm the General Manager of Colonial Brewing Co. Uh, I've been in the position now for about 10 years, so a long time. Uh, hi, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm the lead brewer here at the Port Melbourne Brewery. I've been here for two years and yeah, loving every day. Where we are, we're sort of in a semi-industrial sort of corner of Port Melbourne. So there's a lot of um, small to medium businesses around. And yeah, there's a very village, much a village feel down here. And it's, uh, yeah, it's got a great vibe here on a Friday and a Saturday. People have their knockoffs and or, or they stay for an extended lunch. So yeah, it's, we're, we're, we're privileged where we are. Uh, yeah, Colonial's quite an entity in Port Melbourne and um, when you get down around Bay Street you've got a lot of restaurants and a few interesting bars to go and drink in. So uh, this really adds value to that, that community and uh, really makes it a great place to be. So this is the factory where the original um, Bertie Beetle was made. Uh, chocolate, which um, you'll find in show bags. Everyone's favourite chocolate I think when they were a kid growing up. This year we made a Violet Crumble beer because we found out that Bertie Beetles were made to use the offcuts of Violet Crumbles. And this is the Bertie, being the Bertie Beetle factory, we thought we'd essentially pay homage to that. So we made a Violet Crumble. We put a honey fry that we found in the malt room that was left over from Bee's Knees that we tasted and it was still delicious. And we uh, put in an inordinate amount of cocoa nibs and rum because why not? Probably uh, my first beer, I think, was when I sat on my grandfather's lot, lap. I think it was an old Foster's tinny, which we had, you know, many moons ago. That was my first, you know, recollection. My first beer was probably a warm VB in a park somewhere that I wasn't allowed to have when I was 16. And the only impact it had was got me drunk, I would say. It's a cool place. I mean, it's, a, it's an operating brewery. Food's good. Beer's good. Service, everyone's friendly, and it's a, it's a cool atmosphere. We've got five um, core range beers. Uh, the first one, and are probably most popular, almost jointly, is uh, the Colonial Draft, which is a sort of mainstay, um, gateway sort of craft beer within the range. And it's, uh, it's a, a ripper beer, it's very easy to drink, it's very sessionable, and it's just a, an easy drinking beer. E probably equal to the draft at the moment in terms of popularity would be our pale. Uh, it's different to the rest of the pales on the market in terms of its ABV. It's significantly lower than most other hoppy pales. It's big, punchy, hoppy, fruit bowl, clean bitterness, pretty easy to drink and at four and a bit percent we're going to have more than one. Um, the pale is fantastic, naturally brewed, no preservatives, you can certainly uh, have a few and not feel hung over tomorrow. That's pretty important. So what makes Melbourne so special to me is probably just the sheer scale of, of quality beer options. Look, it's a combination of things. It's obviously it's seasonality. It gets, you know, brutally cold in winter and then very, you know, extremely hot in summer. So that gives so many variations to what you do. And, you know, rain, hail or shine, Melburnians go out and, you know, and get involved in things. And there's always so many activities happening. So I think all of that gives plenty of opportunities to drink good, good wine and good beer and eat good food. So that's where we try to be a part of that. Yeah. Cheers. 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 <laughs> well, that's it for this instalment of Kegs of Glory. Until next time, remember, drink less, drink better and travel often.